Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Great Taz here once again with another replay from the world of tanks. In this replay, I will be playing in the Alpine tank. It's the first tank to have... I forget what the, the actual statement is. It's... I think embossing is where you impress something into a tank. Um, this is uh, where it's actually graphed onto the tank. So you have two nice um, looking taggers on this tank, one on the left and one on the right. Um, basically what this is is, oh, let's put it this way. It's your T-34 black, your IS-6 black, or your Spumutz Panzer 58. But it is the 111 version of that. So, <clears throat> in this battle, we are on Overlord. As you can see, I am in uh, with a clan mate. Um, name is Oatmeal Cookies. Uh, we are kind of separated currently, but um, this tank here has all the disadvantages. <laughs> of the 111 and it also has the disadvantage of not having preferential matchmaking to it so it's basically the 111 without preferential matchmaking um you say well it's the 111 111 has pre preferential matchmaking well yes the 111 does the alpine tiger does not um and you say well why is that why wargaming did it I can't honestly give you an honest opinion. Um, I can tell you it is a matter of fact. Um, I have gotten tier 10. Oh, look. What'd you look? An IS-3. What's he doing? He's sleeping, I guess. He was looking at the Hellcat, I guess. Um, to put it simply, uh, and to the point, uh, the... Why they did it is beyond me. Um, a war gaming is in the process. They are going to eliminate all preferential matchmaking tanks. Um, they're going to rework them all. Uh, armor, tank values, and stuff like that. Uh, armor, gun values, gun handling, and everything like that that actually makes them where they need preferential. Um, instead of doing stuff like, oh, maybe making all tanks one up, one down, but that's my personal opinion, and that's how I feel that they could actually solve the preferential matchmaking issue. Plus, on top of solving the preferential matchmaking issue, they would also solve the matchmaking issue that is on the North American server. Um, we only have 20,000 people, give or take, you know, a couple, I think uh, the max I've seen at any time has been 25,000 people on the North American server. Okay. Now, with that being said, that is very small compared to even the European, which has way more than that. Exact number, I don't know. I, I'm not on the European server. And I know the Russian server, last I knew, had 10 individual servers all of its um, all of its own and they're pushing in areas of hundreds probably a thousand people on it so um, but enough about that other stuff as you can see there I went down the hill I took a good pot shot into the IS3 he left me his side. He was too busy worried about anything else. He wasn't paying attention to the minimap because I know I was spotted by him uh, at the minimum, uh, especially with the reload time on this gun. All right, and I took the shot and shot. Then the 110 decides it wants to come around the corner. And so, yeah, um, I start beating on it. Oatmeal comes out, comes down and helps me uh, take him out and finish him off. And we see our 3002. VK3002M heading down the beach and moving on. Our Tiger 131 is on the lower platform there, pushing around the corner. Um, probably going to run into something or another. Already, most likely, because it's the only thing at this point in time during this battle that had not been spotted. <clears throat> 
Now, right now, I'm pushing 1,600 damage, as you can see in the upper left-hand corner here, and uh, slowly, slowly working on trudging up the hill. Um, they still have a total; they have more kills than we do, so um, we got a. At this point, it's it is just rather a, a really close game. Um, I still only have 558. Uh, life. Uh, there's the SU-100Y. Um, he had a perfectly good chance to shoot me, but uh, must have been reloading or something. Uh, he didn't make it. I get reloaded. Um, block a couple shots there. Uh, I took a shot from the E-25, which uh, he shot me from over there. I am trying to uh, let everyone know that's where the E-25 is. Um, and to watch for there. Uh, so I'm gonna peek back up here trying to keep my you know tank on an angle that uh, I'm gonna give the most deflection ability towards the E25 um, because he's probably still not left that general area uh, but I'm gonna creep up here and you know um, try to deal with this uh, KV3 and this T29 uh, take a quick shot at the T29 um, it fails to connect um, again, the accuracy on this 122 sucks. This is the same accuracy that's on the same 122 that's on the IS-6 and also the T-34-3, um, the Chinese medium tank, uh, which is uh, also the same one that's, of course, since this is the 111, the same one that's on the 111. I took a good shot into the T-29, tracked him. Don't look, reload in time, but... Shoot another time. Must have hit his turret. Uh, the E25 is finally spotted. We got two allies playing around back at their cap. And there goes the T29. Uh, me and Cookies here are going to push. Toward, Cookies is going to put. Oatmeal is going to push towards the T29. I'm going to make sure I keep his side and his back um, covered. And now since the T29 has been spotted. Uh, KB3. Need to make sure we get rectify that issue and get rid of it. I bounce off the KB3. Now, if anyone doesn't, if you don't know, have the IS-6, the T-34-3, or the um, WZ-111, this tank has 175 millimeter pen, millimeter pen with its standard drones. Um, and it has 250 with its heat gold ammo. Here, this guy is going to try to go around the, the far way. Um, their T-34-85 had taken care of our two guys that were down around there. Uh, and, um, you know, now they still have one already, the T-34-85, and it's it, it, 25. And, oops. Well, that didn't work out. <clears throat> I, I wanted to try to get the shot in on him. Uh, I, I got a little too close to the edge, didn't realize I was that close, and slipped and fell off. But in the end of the game, I still got the kill. Um, the E25 is now done. We don't have to worry about that. Now it's just um, oatmeal and Sir Shaka and the uh, Schwarzpanzer 58, which we're going to switch over to him. Shisha Shark. He is right now chasing down the Artie. Um, which he will win this one. Um, he doesn't be anything major. Uh, uh, then we have the T3485M, which is one of the more popular and some people will call it more overpowered uh, premiums um, in the game. It is a tier six um, tank. And uh, it is, it's, I, I've never played it. I don't own it, so I don't really know a lot about it. Now, unfortunately, Oatmeal is in the AMX 65 ton. And that whole line um, is, is not really, it's not the mobile, super mobile line that you would uh, expect from Lake Frenchies. Um, and, and so it, it is going to take him a while to get over here. So... Shiraka, Shirakik, Shirsharakik, we'll just say the PZ-58 here, 
or the mutt, the, the black mutts as I call it, because that's what it is. Um, we'll have to do exactly what it did. Take out Demi-Cry and Demi-Rossi and win the battle. So with that, we end up winning the battle. Shushaka gets a top gun and does a really decent battle. Now let's go take a look at our end game stats here. Alright, here we go. We okay, got a second class badge in overall for a base experience of um, 933, <clears throat> which is not bad. Second's not bad. It could be better. It could be worse. Uh, we walked out with a high caliber also because we did, um, of everybody, we did the most damage. Not by much. Um, if the, the PZ, the Swartz Panzer 58 here, um, would have got one more shot off, he would have taken it. Um, but in turn... I got it by the hair of, you know, you know what they say, close is only, um, close is only good in horseshoes and hand grenades, and of course, he was close, but he's not on target, so, in the turn, he was there, now, this, this is the, what, the funny thing about this is, is, you've seen how early we took out the 110 on the enemy team, now, that 110, which I killed by ramming, did 2,351 damage. 2,351 damage. He did a lot of damage for dying early in the game, as he did, as you can see. And it, it, sometimes it happens, so there's not much you can do about that. Um, I would love to get uh, give a, a Shershakik, Sush, Arik, However you say your name, buddy. Um, I, I give you a, a good shout out. Uh, maybe we'll see you again in another battle. Um, and, and we'll continue on with this. Uh, uh, my total damage, I fired 13 shots. 11 of them connected. Only 8 penetrated. Again, that goes back to the 175 millimeter penetration. Even when you have um, perfect on green um, from your indicator and, and stuff like that you fire and hit it doesn't always mean you're going to actually one hit that green location and two actually pen that green location because of the 175 millimeter pen but um i try not to use gold runs unless i have to as you can see here with my low ammo resupply cost um it cut works out because my overall battle credits was 108 and i walked out with 85.6 so, you know, that works. I, I was, um, we uh, had clan boosters running at this point in time when this battle happened. So, um, and stuff like that. And then I completed a mission also. So, in the, in the end of turn, I made out really well. It could have been worse. Uh, and then again, it could have been better. So, um, I mean... I did block 455. This tank can block if you can armor if you can get it hauled down. Um, it has 230 turret armor. It has like 250 hull armor. It's not really armored up. Um, 120, 120 frontal, 120 side. So with 120 side, this tank makes a better side and a 230 turret armor. Excluding the simple fact that you have two commander's cupolas on the top of your tank. If they miss them and hit just your turret or hit your side, this is one of the best reverse side scraping tanks that I have found. Even better than the IS-3. Yes, I said that. Even better than the IS-3. Due to the 120 millimeters of side armor, no one is going to overmatch you at all. So you can side scrape all day long. Now, HE rounds and heat rounds may still do damage. Um, APCR rounds are actually going to possibly... Um, higher tier APCR rounds are going to pen your turret, or they're going to easily pen your 
Commander Scrupula, which have probably about 100 millimeters of armor. So, and overall, this is a fun tank to play. I love the look of it. Um, that's that's the biggest thing, and it's the reason I actually picked it up. Um, I haven't played. I don't really got anything beyond like the tier four and the Chinese line. Because the Chinese nines never really interested me whatsoever. Um, I am going to soon and long time coming. I'm going to work my way all the way up to all tier 10s. But I, I'm not, I have a life outside of the game. So, you know, it's kind of hard to, when I don't get enough games in. Um, and I, I'm an average player. I will say that I am an average player. Uh, um, I average four to five hundred um, base experience um, pretty much every battle. Um, sometimes lower, sometimes less. I, I, I got a twelve hundred freaking W and eight, twelve fifty W and eight. I am an average player. So some of the games you will see me post are some of my extremely good games, um, and. Who wants to watch a boring game where you're actually you're the person you're watching is actually just getting his butt whooped? Not me really. So But with that being said, um I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um any comments, concerns, questions, please leave them in the comment section. And uh with that being said, this is Great Taz out, and we we'll hope to see you in the world of tanks.